Uh, speaking of producers, who are your top three favorite producers of this past year? Ah, man. So my three producers, like, it's not going to be the obvious because I think people, like, when they hear that, they're going to be like, well, whoever was making the hits this year yeah. or whatnot. That These... definitely was my question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what, I, that's what I thought. I figured I said, Greg's probably going to try to pick the people that are making the hits or uh, whatnot. Me, I'm just picking the people that I'm like, every time I hear a song and this person has a tag on the song, I'm like, okay, let me get into a mode. My number one is Hollywood Cole. Um, anytime I hear a song that says, Cole, you stupid, yeah. like, I know the type of ride he's going to take me on. Um, he did a bunch of production, almost all of the, damn near all the production on Reasons album. Mm -hmm. um, and then he had a couple of other placements elsewhere as well this year. But I feel like like he's really getting his stride. Yeah. You know what I mean? He can't, last year, last year he really stuck out to me with J.I.D.'s album. And like I said, now going into this year with Reason and just a couple of other, like every time I'm listening to somebody's album, I'll be like, oh, he's on this album too. Oh, he on this album. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, whether it's, you know, Nicki Minaj, he on Nicki Minaj's album. I'm like, huh? Okay, like he's getting real different placements. Yeah. But I just like his production because it's kind of like a breath of fresh air in a sense. Um, it's still kind of like the old. It gives like the old soul sampling type of vibe. Yeah. But it's a little bit different. So that's that's number one on my list. Now number two is Hit Boy. That's kind of I'm kind of biased because Nas is my favorite rapper yeah. of all time. <laughs> my favorite lyricist of all time. And of course, Hit Boy has just been on a him and him and Nas have been on an amazing run. Yeah. So this year he has um, you know Magic Two and Magic Three under his belt for production. Um, he also snuck in a little song with Rhapsody, um, Asteroids. Yeah. You know, you got him producing this Pops album, which I haven't heard yet. It just but came out today. I yeah, think. yeah. Um, so you got him pop producing his own Pops album. Then you had, like, uh, the one he had with him and Dom Kennedy. Like, Hit Boy, he might put out, like, you know what I mean? Like, especially with this Nas run, he might put out a lot of stuff. But it just amazes me because I even tried my hand at, like, producing stuff before. And, like, produ producing music isn't as easy as it seems. Yeah. It's not just, you know, pushing buttons and, you know, hoping something comes together. And so with the fact that he's able to produce so much, but certain things sound so different, like, these Nas albums sound different from when he produced Benny the Butcher's album. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and I just think he's just really great at that. And he's continued to go. The year, the year ain't even ended yet, and he already got something else coming yep. out. Um, so consistency with him is just crazy. And then my last person is Bongo, by the way. Like, that's another person where you'll hear a song and hear the tag, and it'll say, Bongo, by the way. Um, I feel like his beats... It's almost like, I, I, like I said, I don't want to compare anything to anybody, but um, I know he works with a lot of West Coast artists. I'm not yeah. sure exactly where he's from. I want to say uh, he might be from Chicago or something like that. I know he's of African descent. Like, he moved here. He's a transplant. But, like, if there was, like, a West Coast version of, like, Just Blaze to me, like, with a newer sound, it would be him. Because, like, he's doing different things, too, where it's, like, it's hard-hitting songs, like, you know, where this come from something like Welcome Home, when he did with the game oh, a yeah. couple years ago, um, to even now, like, he, this newest song, he got a track with J-Rock, which, man, <laughs> not to get off topic, but... I feel like I can't, I'm starting to feel like what Reason was talking about when it comes to TDE and their production. J Rock has had two singles, <laughs> and I'm like, bro, these are great singles, and they have gone nowhere. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, that one was big too because it was like you got uh, you talking about the one with Lotto and Anderson Pack, right? He no, 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 that that, that's Mustard. That's, oh, that's okay, Mustard. Okay. But he has another one. I forget what the actual title was, but it just came out. Oh, oh, oh um, the one with Nickerson Gardens still in the that desert. Way. Yep, still yep, that yep, way. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what I mean? Right. And I'm just like, bruh, that, that song and the one with Anderson Park and Lotto, the one with Anderson Park and Lotto should have been a number one record. Yeah. Especially it came out in the summer, too. Yeah. I don't know what happened with that. But anyway, yeah, those, those, are, my, those are my three producers. Mine is, uh, I'm not going to go too long in, in speaking on mine because mine is eerily similar to yours. I feel like Hit Boy, it will, it will be a, a, a diss to not include him in any of your top three favorite producers of the past two or three years because of his handprint uh, across all genres has been there, and um, I think you just can't miss that. So Hit Boy is definitely on my list. The other one I have is just Alchemist. Um, mm, I think a lot of a the one. rappers I listen to, they work with Alchemist, so I'm always introduced to Alchemist production, even if I don't want to. Um, also, he doesn't slack in doing those duo collabs. You got Larry June, you got um, Earl Sweatshirt, you got West Side Gun. You know, he's doing half of Benny album next year. Yep. Um, and so he is he's just like Hit Boy. He's a workhorse, and it'll be hard to miss him. I think the only difference between those two is Hit Boy. You know, he branch out, and he going to R&B, or he going to pop, pop over the case yeah. may be. And Alchemist says hip-hop. 
Which rightfully so, because Alchemist has been around for what thirty years He's in been hip hop. For a long time, yeah. Bro. And so, fun fact: Alchemist, one of my top five greatest beats of all time was Alchemist beat that we gonna make it beat mm. with the locks. Psh. I had no idea Alchemist made that. That's Alchemist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you think about that beat, you like that's quintessential yeah. rap. That's, that's Alchemist. <laughs> Dang, I'm, that's a uh, that's funny. I never realized that Alchemist did that. But yeah, Alchemist is definitely uh, the other one on my list. And then the next one on my list was Bongo as well. Um, hmm. It's the same thing for me. When you hear songs, you hear that beat. The it wasn't the first beat I heard from him, but the the one that comes to mind when I uh, first think about it, it was uh, Game's nineteen uh, ninety two album. Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah. one of my favorite Game recent albums, and he was all over um, that album. So I think that might have been my introduction to him. It could have been earlier, but that's the one that stands out. And ever since then, every time I hear one of his beats, it's like I know what I'm in. I know right. the ride that I'm in for. So you get prepared for it. Yep. Yeah.